So let's talk about Chaos Or today. It's one of those things that players actually have a lot more agency over this RNG mechanic that it might seem on the first place. And it's one of the ways that you can actually try to finesse the game and try to have more influence on what you may get. And you actually do get a lot of Chaos Or nowadays because they did add five Chaos Ors on the clan shop which has 25% chance to be on the weekly clan shop. So on average, once a month, we will have five Chaos Ors that you can buy for 750 each clan tokens. And of course, that is a lot, but that's definitely the most important thing that you can buy from the clan shop, by the way. So you definitely need to buy it every week when it's here. It's not here this week, but I always save my clan tokens and I don't use them on most other things except the Chaos Or. Like the things that I buy is uh, the Void Shard, Chaos Or, and um, 5 to 6 star um, accessories and that's it. Sometimes I buy the um, energy just because I have enough tokens and I try to not waste them but I wouldn't even do that every week and I am not buying those um, killstroke set artifacts. I can talk about it on another video, but the short version is that Cruel Set is actually much better than killstroke. Of course, if you are a newer player, you might not have a lot of Cruel, so then, I, then it might be worth going for killstroke. But even for champions that scale from defense or HP, Cruel's 2P set is actually better than killstroke, and that is because defense ignore is so big deal. And I have even a separate video about talking defense ignore and explaining that mechanic in the game. But now we will specifically talk about Chaos Or. So what Chaos Or does, oh and you of course get those from events and tournaments sometimes as well. And sometimes they are very hard and I don't go for them. But usually I do try to go for them if they are possible. If it's something like artifact enhancement event or champion training event, I will generally do all of them if it's for a 6 star piece of Chaos Or. No matter if it's epic or legendary, but 5 star ones I don't really care about and I barely use, let, use them and for most people you will not find that much uses for 5 star or There is one specific exception though, but let's talk about it a bit later. So Let's look a bit of the Chaos Or. So what this item actually does is that it rerolls the item and you basically get new copy of the same item with different random stats and you kind of have a chance to get a do-over on it. And this might not seem very strong on like first thought, but it has actually some stipulations that make it a lot better than it might seem. And also it gives you a lot agency because you can use it on items that you very rarely get in this game. For instance, bottom pieces or maybe special items that's like lethal or reaction accessories. But then there's also two specific stipulations about the role that are not extremely clear on the first uh, impression that you get. But it doesn't just reroll all of the stats randomly again. The two things that it does keep is that Let's say that you have triple roll on one stat, or let's say that you have double roll on one stat and a single extra roll on another stat. The substat that it rolls will be random, but it will keep this that you have a double roll on one slot and single extra roll on another slot. This will be always kept even if you reroll the item. And also, most importantly, the ascension is, or I guess they are kind of equally important, but the Ascension is also kept always when you reroll the item. And there you basically get the two main things that maybe you have the right main right uh, Ascension on the item and you want to reroll it because of that. Or maybe you have a triple roll on an item and maybe you want to roll it because of that. Those are the two main reasons that you would Chaos or something. But um, Basically, if we got it to, um, in essence, there is three 
main categories that you will go for. It's gonna be top pieces. It's gonna be bottom pieces with correct um, ascension already. And then it's going to be um, like accessories or specifically um, special accessories. But let's first talk about um, rolling the top pieces. So why it often makes sense to re-roll the top pieces. Here we have a picture with all of the possible substats that you can get on all types of pieces. And this is from Ayumilav website. But on the top pieces specifically, which is weapon, helmet and shield, you have less potential substats that you, you have on the bottom pieces. Like on these you might have, I don't know, like 10 or something or 11. And on shields you're gonna have something like, I think, 7 substats. And that makes it so that, let's say that you have an item with triple roll on helmet. Uh, I mean, let's say shield. Shield is the best one. So let's say that you have a triple roll on shield. You have fairly high chance to get, for instance, triple accuracy or triple speed on that piece if you reroll it. And you basically want to combine that you reroll a triple or quadruple roll on the right type of item set on top pieces. So the most basic ones that people often do is that you roll all of the speed set top pieces that you get. And if you get triples or quads on those, you will always chaos or all of them. We're talking about six star pieces and then if you happen to get a speed substat on the triple or quadruple roll the item is basically good regardless of whatever other stats you're going for because on a speed champion you are not really gonna care about the other stats and you might do the same type of strategy on accuracy and resistance um, substats as well and generally people will do this strategy either on stone skin pieces or speed set pieces but you could basically use it on any type of uh, set that is very special that you want to get but it's a lot easier to get one specific stat on a triple or quadruple roll than trying to get let's say a nuker piece with attack crit rate crit damage and speed those type of pieces are very hard to get but if you reroll your triple rolls on speed set it is very likely that eventually you're gonna get triples or quadruples on it. So that's the main way to use it, or the most common and the basic way to use it. And then there is two more very good ways, and I think I can actually showcase the other one. I remember I kept one item piece for this video specifically. Oh, let's actually talk about this, Klaus, yeah. I was supposed to show that. So, as you can see, these claws are already chaos sword. I can't chaos sword them again. And this is a perfect example of when you reroll the bottom pieces instead of top pieces. It's a lot harder to get like specifically what you want here compared to the top pieces. But this is more of the end game way to use it. If you really want to go for perfect tank pieces or perfect nuker pieces. And you will basically reroll items on specific sets that you already rolled to 12 and got the perfect perfect ascension on them so let's say that you got hp percentage ascension on bottom piece on bolster set and you want to reroll that and you hope to get hp main stat and hp ascension which will always be kept or how i have done on this piece is that it's a lethal piece which is the best nuker set in the game and it's crit damage um, ascension I don't remember what the main stat on this piece was but that doesn't matter when you reroll the item it can be any main stat the only two things that are kept is the ascension and the extra rolls on the specific slots that you rolled but the stats that you get on these can be anything but basically personally me I roll all of my lethal bottom pieces to 12 and then I um, ascend them to see if I get the best possible ascension on them which is generally grit damage on gloves and attack on boots and chest and if I do get those type of pieces then I will chaos or them and try to see if I get very lucky with the substats and with gloves specifically 
you have less substats that you need like because you already have crit damage as the main stat so there's only three possible um substats to get a perfect piece which would be speed crit rate and either attack hp or defense depending on the type of um champion that you're using it on but even if you get two of the potential best substats but you also have crit damage ascension it's going to be an insane piece so this is a piece that i have a chaos sword long time ago and let's actually do a quick um showcase how to do it because uh, i remember when i originally made video about this topic it was just when i started making videos in february and for some reason this wasn't very common knowledge and many people <laughs> were doubting it was true when i made the video which was which was funny it, it was basically very common knowledge in the top clans and everybody was doing it but nobody had made videos about it and it wasn't super common knowledge but okay so here we have um boots with attack ascension and then we have a double roll on one stat slot and single roll on another and these three things will be kept but the stats on main stat and substats will be random and of course the chance for me to get attack main stat and good substats is very low but getting these kind of pieces in general is very rare and it's super end game grind for every player in this game even the biggest whales it is extremely hard to get these type of pieces and generally they will not have perfect ones and they might even lack one of the best possible stats or they have they might have some wasted rolls but let's see how it actually rolls and does it play out like i was explaining okay so we got unlucky here we didn't get attack main stat but as you can see we did keep the um, attack ascension and the double and single roll on the substats so of course it's not very likely that you will get what you're looking for but this is the best way if you want to brute force an item on a specific slot like let's say that you need good boots good nuker boots and you don't have any then you should do this strategy and just keep every um every piece asking them to 12 and then wait where did i look oh never mind i put the settings differently yeah you, you should do this strategy and see if you get lucky and um, it's like i said it's especially good if you need a specific um item on specific slot like let's say that you need cruel gloves then this is the only way that you can kind of try to will those things into existence so the third thing that you can do if one of them is to roll those main stats for something like speed accuracy and um, um, resistance and then the second strategy is to reroll bottom pieces with the right ascension and either go for nuke or tank pieces or i guess you could go for resistance chest or accuracy chest as well but then the third strategy is to go for accessories and if we look at the chart you will also see that there isn't that many possible substat rolls on accessories so it is kind of likely on them as well to get the specific combination that you want i mean not incredibly but it's kind of likely to get what you want but i would say that i don't personally go for those things here the one difference is going to be special item sets like reaction these pieces are very rare to get and even somebody like me who is in a good clan that does fairly well in cvc i don't get enough of them and this is definitely the main subjects that i have been using my chaos or and i basically reroll almost every single um reaction piece that i get or at least on the factions that i have champions that i use and i try to go for the specific things that i want and here i would say that if you really care about platinum arena the reaction accessories are so powerful that i wouldn't just reroll the 
items with triple or quadruple substat. So let's say that you don't have any HP ring with HP um, percentage and defense percentage on your um, duchess, then you definitely do want to chaos or every um, reaction piece on um, demon spawn that isn't good for Nougar or something else. But then there is one new thing about um, these accessories that is kind of uh, wasn't before in the game and that's going to be the amulets. That would be the biggest thing that I would now promote people to um, use chaos source on and that's because you will basically do the same strategy that you would do on those bottom pieces that you get the right main stat and then you try to reroll to get the um, like you get the right ascension and then you try to reroll it for the right main stat as well but on something like amulet you don't really care about the substats that much if we are talking about nuker piece so let's say that you have a bunch of reaction amulets on your account let's say on um i don't know banner lords and you want to get amulet for your taras then I would roll all of those 12, even if they are defense or HP, whatever main stats. And if you happen to get crit damage ascension on them, you may consider chaos soaring them because you have one in three chance to get crit damage main stat. And having crit damage main stat and ascension on amulet is much more important than having something like HP substat for Taras. And yeah, that's it. Those are the three main ways that you want to chaos or and this is not very common topic that people talk about and that's kind of why i wanted to make this long video explaining these three um possibilities and the specific specifics about them that's it for this video i hope you found it helpful and see ya